Okay, here we have a nice view of the nasal angle. I, I like to zoom in pretty high mag here, actually. I want to see all the details of the angle structures, the trabecular meshwork and the other structures, as well as just that on fast view. So important for that TM to be kind of facing you here. The view is still the key of any successful MIGS procedures. Entering here with my Omni device, my Omni loader, and see I'm going to uh, engage the TM here. And I'm, I like to be about a 45 degree angle, depending on the patient here. I'm not pushing too hard against the nasal angle, but as I advance this wheel, you see I'm feeling resistance, and you see the blue catheters pushing. You see it almost pushing into the wall of the sclera there. So I'm feeling resistance, I'm going to re-engage, and I'm still feeling that resistance. And so it's not how much pressure I'm putting, it's just my angle of approach. It's too, it's too acute. I'm going to go downstream a little bit there, flatten my approach angle now, and now look at beautiful. Just slides in there, the catheter's going into Schlem's canal, breaking those herniations, I'm advancing the wheel till it stops, and I'm going to attract it back, releasing that viscoelastic in the canal and hopefully into the distal collector system as well. So that was the angle of approach, not as much, not how much pressure I was putting, more the angle. The catheter was hitting the wall of the, uh, the sclera there. So I'm putting more viscoelastic on the cornea and in the anterior chamber. Putting my gonia prism now, I'm going to go the other 180 degrees, uh, entering with my Omni device again. And uh, you'll see here, and this time, I'm not quite as acute as I approach the angle. I'm a little, a little bit more about that 35 to 40 degree angle there. And I'm letting that catheter now enter into Schlem's canal, slides in beautifully as well. So now I'm going to do the other 180 degree viscodilation, and then I'm going to perform my trabeculotomy here as well. So I'm advancing it till it stops. And I'm going to retract it back. I don't come out, just retract it back, stop, and then re-advance it. So now I'm going to perform my uh, goniotomy, or my trabeculotomy, rather. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead, circumferentially pull it out, and we are done. Hope that helped. Thank you. <laughs>